Thank you to everyone who's joining us today. I'm excited that you are interested in learning more about Wake Robin. And uh, it's a really special community to both staff and residents here. So I'm excited to be able to share some of um, our details with you today. So a little bit about me before we get started. I am the recruiter and workforce builder here. Uh, so what that means is I get to talk about Wake Robin all day with potential candidates, which is my favorite thing. I absolutely love this community. Um, I started here as wait staff, so I worked in the dining room, um, and then I transitioned to front desk receptionist. I left for a couple years to travel, and when I returned to Vermont, Wake Robin was the first place I thought of as a place of employment. It's a wonderful community, and I couldn't think of a better place to work, so I asked if I could come back, and so here I am in HR, and I've been here for the past three years in this role. Um, about the Wake Robin community, some of you have may have heard of us before, some of you this may be totally new, so I'll give a brief overview. Uh, Wake Robin is a continuing care community. Um, it's a life plan community. So what that means is we can offer a continuum of care for residents all the way from independent living to residential care, skilled nursing, and memory care. Um, all the residents that live at Wake Robin, they all start here independently. So they're making the decision to live and retire at Wake Robin long before skilled nursing is necessary. They're choosing this community as a place to live and retire, um, mostly because of the kind of lifestyle that it can um, allow them to continue living. Uh, we have lots of different resident run activities. I believe we have over 40 resident run activities, um, everywhere from maple sugaring to beekeeping. We have art studios, uh, a really active, really engaged group of individuals that live here. Um, and what's so nice about this community is that when they eventually need more assistance with daily living and they need to transition from independent living to maybe res care or skilled care, um, they don't have to go very far. So they've already lived on this campus for a number of years. So maybe their friend in independent living and their neighbor in independent living is now their neighbor in skilled nursing. So it's a familiar place. They know the campus, they know the staff, um, and it's a much smoother transition, uh, not only for the residents, but for their family as well. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys so that I can show you a little PowerPoint I put together just to kind of lay out a little more about Wake Robin and the important thing that you're all here uh, for today is our job opportunities. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share this presentation. So Wake Robin. Um, I wanted to share our mission and values. Uh, it's an important part of our community here and it'll really help you to understand um, more about the Wake Robin community. So our mission is to create a sustainable and dynamic community that honors both mutual support and independence and addresses the health and wellness of each resident. Um, our core values also say a lot about us, community, difference, environmental stewardship, balance, and humor. Um, community is such an important aspect of Wake Robin, and it's one of the things that I continue to hear our new employees um, say that it's what they feel a part of when they come to Wake Robin is, I just instantly fell a part of this community. Um, one of the things that's really cool about um, being on staff at Wake Robin is our core program. So CORE was created, it's run out of the HR department, and CORE was created for staff and residents um, so that they could, can, they could interact in a way that didn't feel like work. Um, so we have hosted CORE hosts events all year uh, for both staff and residents. So things like blueberry socials, um, today is Thursday. It's my favorite day at Wake Robin because that is our uh, farmer's market. So we have a farmer's market every Thursday. That's for both staff and residents and their families. Um, so lots of different activities, like I said, for staff and residents to participate in together. Um, CORE also has fun things like um, health initiatives and also uh, to assist staff and employees with um, a work-life balance. We know that that can sort of be stressful. So we have lots of benefits at Wake Robin for staff to take a part of like our EAP program, which is um, offers you free counseling, completely confidential. Wake Robin pays for that. We also have a partnership with Working Bridges. Um, they are one of our community resource partners. They help our staff with a number of things like housing, finances, daycare, transportation. Um, and again, that's free for all staff. I'll get into our benefits in a little bit. 
Um, next, I just kind of wanted to show you all our campus uh, so you could have a good idea of where we are while I'm talking about us. It's a beautiful campus located in Shelburne, Vermont. Um, we have about five miles of walking trails that sort of surround the whole campus, beautiful views. Um, this big building here on the left is our uh, community center. So that's sort of the hub of a lot of activity at Wake Robin. It's where our dining facilities are. It's where our pool and our fitness center is. It's where residents come to get mail. We have a gift shop. Um, we have community meetings in the community center for residents and staff every week. Um, it's also a, an extension of the community center sort of behind there is where our skilled nursing facility is. So again, that's residential care, skilled care, and memory care. We also have our own clinic on site, so residents don't need to leave to go to the doctor's office. We have that right here for them. We also have our own rehab team, which is really convenient. So um, there's a lot going on in our community, a lot here on campus. Um, I next wanted to share our job opportunities that we have available right now. So as you can imagine, it's a very big uh, community and campus with over 300 residents and over 200 staff. So there's a lot of different kind of picture it almost like a college and how many different departments are needed to help make that run because we're similar in that we're a campus where people live and work. Um, and dine and do activities. So we have our environmental services department. That's everything physical here at Wake Robin. So our housekeepers, maintenance, our security team. Um, we have dining services. 40% of our food is a locally sourced. We have great relationships with local farmers. Um, and everything is made here in house, which is really nice. So that is, um, we have, it's a very big department. We have a main dining room and then we have three different dining rooms for, on our skilled nursing levels. And so there's back of the house staff, front of the house staff. Then of course we have health services. Um, that's anywhere from our staff nurses to our LNAs. And then we have administration. So that um, is our admin roles. And then of course we have HR. Uh, so some of the positions available right now for our housekeepers, we're looking for a full-time housekeeper. The hours are either Monday through Friday or Tuesday through Saturday, typically 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And that is um, a really unique position because we have two sets of housekeepers, one in independent living and one in skilled nursing. Housekeepers in independent living are going to be very similar to if you or I were to hire a housekeeper to come clean our house. So um, think, you know, dusting, mopping, general housekeeping. Um, our housekeepers in skilled nursing have a little bit more of that sanitary focus versus the neat focus in independent living. Um, our housekeepers are the eyes and the ears of Wake Robin. They are some of the only staff that are actually in the resident homes. Um, so they're able to really let us know they all staff here have a great relationship with residents. But like I mentioned, housekeepers being in the homes, they have that interesting perspective of being able to let us know, you know, when maybe um, a resident has sort of changed their behavior and habits at home that might indicate they're ready for that transition to skilled nursing. The maintenance position that we're hiring for, we're specifically looking for, for someone with an HVAC certification. Um, that is a, also a full-time position. Um, I should mention housekeeper starts at $12.40 an hour. Uh, our maintenance position, is, because there's a certification, um, it's a little bit higher of a pay range. That's from $20 to $22 an hour. You'll fall somewhere in between there based on your uh, years of experience. Um, we're looking for, this is a new position in environmental services, a gate attendant. It's also going to be a little bit backup for security. A gate attendant is a new position because of COVID-19. I'm going to get into a little bit more about COVID-19 and the pandemic and how it's, um, you know, affected us here at Wake Robin. Um, and so the gate attendant is a new position. We're screening everyone coming in and out of the Wake Robin community. So everyone who's coming to work every day and also who's um, coming in, maybe a visitor of our skilled nursing, they're getting a temperature check and asking, you know, who you've been in contact with, if you've been in any healthcare facility. So that's one of the positions we've put in place to help keep our community safe and COVID free, which so far we have been, we're really proud of. Moving on to our dining services department and those positions, we're looking for a cook full time. Uh, those are our evening hours, our lunch dinner. So that's 12 to 8.30. 
Uh, that position is going to come in anywhere that's a bigger range because of skills and experience. So you could be a brand new cook, you'd come in a little bit closer to the $14 an hour, and then a more experienced cook could come in even as high as 17. So you'll fall somewhere in the 14 to $17 range, depending on years of experience. Um, next, we have wait staff. We're looking for full or part time wait staff. Wait staff come in at $12.40 an hour. There is room to grow within that position, as is with housekeeper, as I should have mentioned. Um, many roles here at Wake Robin have room to grow and uh, develop your skills, which would come with a rate of pay change. So, wait staff again starts at $12.40 an hour. I believe it's a $1.50 increase to be um, a lead server. Those hours can range anywhere from lunch dinner, which is 11 to 730 breakfast lunch is a 6am to 230pm shift those are more full time hours, um, you know, five, eight and a half hour days. Uh, if you're looking for part time for wait staff, we have a four to 830 shift or a 330 to 730 shift. Uh, we're also looking for a kitchen assistant full time. Again, that's 12 to 8.30. Um, that's mostly a dishwasher position, also some prep cook work. Health services, right now we're looking for LNAs, both full and part time, primarily on the evening shift. And our LNA training program, which is super exciting for me to talk about, um, that's a program that we've run here at Wake Robin for many years. It is a, um, a way for us to it began as a way for us to train our own staff, but then we opened it up to the greater community. Um, so we have a training program here it happens typically four times a year. It's about eight weeks from the time you start the course to the time you take your exam. And um, the first four weeks is classroom training. So it's three days a week from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Week five and six are your clinical days. And then during week seven and eight is typically when you're practicing your skills, really honing in on what you need to focus on before that exam. Um, and then you take your exam typically around week eight and then you become an LNA. Uh, one of the benefits of taking our LNA training program here at Wake Robin is we pay you to train. So we hire you as a student and we see your job here at Wake Robin as being a student. So anytime you're here um, in the classroom, you're clocked in, you're getting paid to train. The hourly rate is $12.50 an hour. As soon as you become an LNA, that jumps to $14 an hour. Um, what else? Oh, we pay for the training program. That's another big one. So the tuition is just under $2,000. We offer to pay that tuition for you upfront as long as you agree to stay at Wake Robin for at least one year as an LNA. Of course, we understand that things happen and maybe after six months you are moving out of state. Um, so at that point, you would just owe half of the tuition balance. So we've paid off half of it for the first six months of you working here. Um, I could talk about the LNA training program all day. So if you have further questions about that, I'm sure my contact will be shared um, and we can chat about that. Um, a new position for us here in the HR department is um, our HR assistant position. It's going to be a part-time position. Daytime hours, we're flexible to the candidate on what works best with them. Um, we're really looking for someone with some administrative experience, um, answering phones, um, sort of being the gatekeeper for the HR department. It's a really busy department. We see a lot of staff here. That's, again, community is so important to us. So we like to see HR as the hub for uh, staff uh, to come chat with us, ask us questions. So it's a busy place and we are looking for someone to join us. Um, so let's see what's next. Benefits. Benefits are, of course, an important thing when thinking about employment. We have great benefits here at Wake Robin. Um, but actually, before I move to benefits, I just wanted to let you know about the application process. Um, as Sarah mentioned, um, the way to apply to Wake Robin uh, through Jobs and VT, you can also visit our website, which is wakerobin.com. Anyone who sends us an application or emails me a resume is going to get a phone call first. It's really important for us that this is a face-to-face -face, um, process and you hear from us immediately. So you're going to get a phone call from me um, and I'll tell you about the community. Uh, I'll answer any questions you have about the position. Um, from there, the process looks like setting up an interview. So after the initial phone screen with myself, if you're still interested, after learning the rate of pay, after learning more about the role, I'll set up an interview with you and the manager. Um, typically, that is a Zoom interview now uh, because we're still limiting guests on campus. It used to be an in-person interview here at Wake Robin. It's a time for you to see and tour our community. Um, and then after the interview, if all goes well, we check references 
references. So having professional references is really important to us. Um, and then after that, we move to an offer. So that's a little bit about the um, application process that I wanted to share. Um, now on to our benefits. Um, so of course we have medical and dental. Um, our medical is a great, I just wanted to share um, our basic plan for an individual is under $30 a pay period, which is bi-weekly. Um, we have a traditional plan that's a little bit more expensive, but still really affordable. It's $49 a pay period for a single person um, working full time on our plan. We have dental, um, which is just under $13 a pay period. Um, and then we have life insurance, uh, short term, long term disability. Um, and then some more fun things like access to our amenities. We have a brand new fitness center. It's beautiful. That's available for all staff to use. We have a pool, um, walking trails, a salon that's for our residents and staff, uh, tennis courts, a library. Some other benefits that we have are reimbursement programs. Um, one is tuition reimbursement. That is for our nursing staff. Uh, that's up to $4,000 a year, uh, or actually $4,000 for over two years that we will reimburse you for nursing school. Um, we also have a fitness reimbursement program. So any of our staff that um, do any sort of pay for fitness um, 10 times a quarter. So if you go to the gym 10 times a quarter, um, we will give you a $50 gift certificate. So that could be up to $200 a year for just working out. And um, there is a free option if you work out in our fitness center, which is free for staff, you also get that reimbursement, which is really cool. Um, another benefit that we have is an emergency loan program. So any staff that have been here for at least one year um, can apply for an emergency loan assistance, which is up to $1,500 for um, any un unforeseen um, expenses. We also have a new program that's a healthy car fund. So that is a program also up to $1,500 for staff who need assistance paying for um, a bill for, on your car if something has gone wrong and was unexpected. We all know uh, that story. So we have that program here. And then a fun one is also a refer a friend bonus. Um, any staff that work at Wake Robin that refers someone to work here after that new employee has been here for three months, they get uh, $300. And after they've been here for another three months, they get another 300. So a total of $600 for referring someone to Wake Robin. Um, so I wanted to share some of those. Um, lastly, I wanted to talk about COVID-19. I know that's probably a big question for a lot of you. Um, maybe you left your previous employer uh, because of the way they handled COVID-19 or weren't able to. Um, maybe you've been out of work for a while and you're you know, concerned about joining the workforce at a time like this. Um, I can assure you that Wake Robin is a very safe place during this pandemic, you know, because of the type of facility that we are, we already are set up to help prevent disease. We always want to um, prevent from the flu. All of our staff get the flu shot. Um, so we already had some of these uh, set up in place, uh, these precautions. Um, and now even more so, as I mentioned, we have a gate attendant. So someone is down at the bottom of our driveway um, taking temperatures. Um, we're still limited to vendors, so it's a very limited amount of vendors that are coming onto campus. So it's mostly just staff, residents, and a few visitors for uh, residents. Um, all staff are provided with personal protective equipment, so um, gloves, masks. It is required that all staff wear a mask. Um, we're socially distancing uh, staff, so we're no longer doing, you know, um, our orientation, which used to be. Um, for all new employees, about 13 people. Um, we're figuring out ways to do that virtually, so stay tuned for that if you do become a new employee. Um, another thing that we have started uh, for staff is you can wear scrubs if you want. So if you don't wanna wear your street clothes or your home clothes here to work and then wear them home, um, you can wear your clothes here and change into scrubs, wear them at work and then leave them here and we will wash them for you. So you could get a new pair of scrubs every day. Um, and I believe I covered everything, but again, if you have questions about COVID-19 or really anything that I um, went over, I'm gonna turn it over to Sarah now for Q&A. Um, so please, we'd love to hear your questions. Thank you again for being with us. We really Thank appreciate you. it and um, good luck to you uh, in filling the positions that you have available. Thank you so much. Take care, everybody.